There was always speculation of you and Emma being something, and I feel like it pops up every couple of years. What do you make of that? <laughs> so we have hit movies, theme parks, talks of a series. Now we have a flagship store. Tell me about this because I've been to like, there's the store in the Universal Studios. I've been to the yeah. one in King's Cross. So what, what is like the difference? What is this store exactly? Well, that's the beauty of it is I don't think we really know quite yet, but I, I sort of see it as like an international clubhouse. Or for me personally, it's like a step back into my childhood. And to be honest with you, when I heard about how ambitious they were with what they were trying to do with the store, I thought, you're never going to be able to pull that off. Um, but alas, I am here proved wrong once again at the creations and inventiveness of these various different parks. It feels like a home, like a, like a Potter home. Again, I don't want to say the name Potter again, but that's how it feels. So it's really exciting to know that they've invested in this, which I'm sure over the next well, it's been two decades since we made the first film. I'm sure in the next two decades, this will be a really safe, lovely, positive, great place to, to go visit. So I'm, I'm excited. I was gonna say, you're, you're, saying, you're saying Potter and not I Potter. Know. <laughs> Saint Potter. I oh, know you caught me out there. I, I saw recently that you went back and watched the movie, the first movie, which is on a 20 year anniversary, which is insane. Um, you watched it for the first time in like 10 years. God, <laughs> look at him. Radcliffe looks about five. Now! Oh, good Lord. All right. <clears throat> keep it together, keep it together. It was the first time that I've ever watched it thoroughly, as far as like actually, I mean, I remember the premieres, but I remember just kids booing me and thinking that I was a, a, a sod in real life, which, which subsequently meant I was doing a good job. But um, it's been a long time about getting pretty teary and going like, wow, that's my childhood. <laughs> or at least the start of a lot of, the um, start of an adventure that here we are 20 years later still talking about it. There was always speculation of you and Emma being something and I feel like it pops up every couple of years. What do you make of that? <laughs> Fair enough. Sorry, I listen, son, that's I nice. Listen. To speak volumes. I mean, if, if we are something, if that makes any sense, as far as we've been very close for a long time and I adore her, I think she's fantastic and hopefully she returns the compliment. But as far as the romantic side of it, I think that's a Slytherin Gryffindor thing rather than a Tom and Emma thing. But I absolutely think the world of her and I think being part of what we've all been part of, but for her to be kind of the only girl, certainly the youngest one on set, to grow up with what she had to um, grow up with was, was incredibly exciting. And listen, you're gonna get me teary now. No, but I, I think that she's a fantastic influence on the world. When was the last time that the gang was all together and is there a plan to make that happen soon? We do stay in touch quite frequently, really, or not so. Um, it's, it's nice that we're always in four different corners of the earth and yet when we catch up, it feels like yesterday that this was all going on. And it's really touching and sweet, I think, that like Daniel, Rupert and Emma especially, they gave so much of their lives to the films and to the Potter universe, if you will, and yet all three of them are still equally proud and amazed, really, as I am, as we all are, amazed at how much positivity has come off the back of the films and the fan clubs and the, uh, the Potterverse or whatever, whatever it goes in. So um, I know that I can speak for all of them when I say that we're all very proud of what we did and we're very excited about all these new ventures. I think one of the uh, saving graces of us as a family is that we all grew up with it and we're still growing up with it and we're still exploring different parts of our own lives. I know Emma's, well, all of the cast have got their own ventures going on, whether it's- Rupert as a baby. Right? Rupert's a dad. I was like, what? That was amazing. And it's so nice to see that. And it's nice to see Emma spread her wings into so many different other entities other than acting, because she's incredible in many different other factions. And then, yeah, just sort of, really seeing what happens with their life really post Potter. I can speak for all of them when I say we are all silently and secretly amazed and very grateful for all of the uh, support and uh, magic, excuse the pun, that's, that's happened since we left. Just looking ahead to the future, there's been so much talk about a TV series and I'm just curious your thoughts. If Malfoy is called upon, would you be interested in, in joining? I don't know well, what's I'm, happening. I'm actually writing it. Good. Did you tell you that part? No, I'm not right. That's true. <laughs> I, uh, you, this is the first I've heard of it today, in fact, uh, a part of the series. I doubt it highly. 
Listen, the, the Harry Potter flame is not going to burn out anytime soon, so it wouldn't surprise me whatever way it rears its beautiful head next time. But yes, obviously, if you're asking me, do I feel slightly possessive over the character of Draco? Absolutely. Or Lucius, or whatever it may be. I'm going to give him the chance, the hair will go back to blonde. But until then, I'll just celebrate what we've done so far. You know, I talk to a lot of people that are part of these like major franchises, and they go, some of them like, they don't really, they kind of try to distance themselves. And I just love how like immersed you are in the Harry Potter universe still. Did you ever go through that journey of being like, I kind of want to be like, not completely associated with this. And what brought you back? What brought you back into the fandom? I'm lucky enough uh, uh, that I live a, really, a very normal life. I walk my dog in the park every day. And yes, yes, every day there's always some random teenager running up to me. And <laughs> and whatnot, but I'm um, not only am I very happy and proud to be part of it, but also it's really, um, it's the fandom, I think, that sort of kept me there. It's, uh, they've sort of become my family <laughs> in a weird, twisted way. And I've seen so much positivity come off the back of not necessarily the books or the films or the tours, but just, just the sort of the whole, the whole thing really. I found um, there's a really, really large global community of people that enjoy Potter, Potter rather, <laughs> and also um, lovely, caring, funny, kind people. <laughs> and that's the kind of the peoples I like. Uh, and I think the New York store is just another opportunity for people of that nature to get together really and sort of celebrate life, even if they are muggles or raping claws or Hufflepuffs, we're accepting. Um, <laughs> on that note, uh, Ashley, what house do you in? I'm actually a Slytherin. I got sorted into Slytherin on Pottermore and I always felt like I was a Slytherin, so. I'm gonna need to see some sort of certification of that. <laughs> I do have it. You know what? I had the, the Slytherin sweatshirt from the store and I dried it <clears> and it, <throat> it's, it got this big. And I was <laughs> like, oh no. Well, that's the other reason why I'm so excited about all of these different ventures is that I'm, um, I get to go on a supermarket sweep and grab as much Slytherin swag to decorate my office with. So that's the bonus. Didn't you get sorted into Hufflepuff? That, let's not go there. Did you really? <laughs> why you think? No, I did not. I did not. I tried 24 times and eventually I got the one I wanted. No, I, I've tried twice. Um, first time was genuinely Gryffindor, um, which <laughs> took me years to get over. And then, uh, and then I, I did do it this, this year, last year rather, and um, very um, smugly. My family were all Hufflepuffs. I, had, I think three of the four of them were all Hufflepuffs. Very disappointed with them. But I actually got Slytherin, so I was quite smug about that. And still am, clearly. <laughs>